Justin Trudeau, our prime minister, he likes to brand himself as Canada's first feminist prime minister, yet it seems, given his track record of late, he has some issues with women that have a strong or, you know, opinion. Why do you think that is? I think he's intimidated by a woman of strength who can speak her mind and stand up. And I think that it's easy enough to say it's very difficult to follow through. And that's what Jane does. She says what she means and she follows through. And that's what I want in a politician. David Menzies for the Rebel Dot Media here in Whitchurch, Stouffville, Ontario. Well, the road to re-election for former Liberal Cabinet Minister Jane Philpott begins right here at the Sleepy Hollow Golf and Country Club. Ms. Philpott is staging a fundraiser at the club tonight in her new political persona as an independent candidate. Philpott, much like Jody Wilson-Raybould, are no longer with the Liberal Party thanks to Trudeau's handling of the SNC-Lavalin affair. But the question arises, does Jane Philpott have what it takes to recapture this riding without the backing of her party. Let's see what the fundraiser attendees have to say. Hi ladies, are you here for the Jane Philpott fundraiser? Yes. Yeah, can you tell me why uh, Jane Philpott has your support? Uh, well, I worked with Jane for many years. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I know her quite well and uh, I know that she's uh, an outstanding uh, citizen and doctor and someone that's very true to her ethics. So uh, it's a joy to be here to support her. I think that she would be a great leader for whoever she represented. Well, I see you have a Jane Philpott badge, I assume. And uh, just wondering, um, what is it about Jane Philpott that has your support? Well, tremendous integrity. Um, probably accomplished more in the brief time that she was in Parliament than most people do in a lifetime. Mm. And what you see is what you get. She is, she is an excellent lady. Can you uh, tell us what is it about Jane Philpott that has your support? Well, I supported her when she was uh, in the Liberal Party, and I think she's a fantastic person. Living in Stouffville for about 13 years, okay. and it's really unique to see somebody with principles standing up for what they truly believe in. Mm. And it's pretty unique because apparently, according to the polls, most people don't recognize principles. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you support Jane Philpott, sir? I think that um, she stands for principle. Okay, then. And um, I think she's, uh, she's capable and um, she's honest and she deserves our support. Can you tell us why you support Jane Philpott, ma'am? Because she's a woman of integrity, um, she stands by her word, and in politics, that's not often. No, that is for certain, and I mean, certainly I, I think most Canadians would agree that the stance that she took, the stance that uh, Jody Wilson-Raybould took were principled stances. Do you think, though, even with that in her corner, uh, she has a chance of winning this riding as an independent? I hope so. I hope that people see who she is and vote for her. Uh, I think that our, us as a community are tired of voting for parties, but need to vote for the people that are going to represent the people. That's what I think. Do you think she will be rewarded for taking such a principled stance come uh, the federal election in October? Well, I certainly hope so. I think she definitely deserves it. But um, I think it's just people understanding what an independent candidate actually is and um, why they should support Jane. And can you tell me what do you think her odds are of getting reelected? There was a poll released earlier this month that actually showed um, the Liberals out ahead of uh, Ms. Philpott by 16 points. Uh, in second place was the Conservatives and uh, Jane Philpott was in third. Do you believe the results of that poll or is she going to give the Liberal and Conservative candidates a run for their money? This is my seventh election. I never pay attention to the polls. The only one that counts is on election day. Are you um, somewhat disappointed perhaps that there weren't more Liberals to take a stance like these two women? I'm disappointed that um, not just liberals, but all parties, mm. more pe people should take a stand for the principle. I think um, I, I think we'll be better. Are you somewhat uh, disappointed that perhaps there were not more liberals to take a similar stance back when this was on the front page? I don't know that you can really judge other people's uh, motives. Uh, the Liberal Party has done a lot of good things in the last three years, and... Uh, it's difficult to 
to manage the, the balance. It's what's truth and what's right. It's not yeah. just what her convictions were. Yeah. They both were kicked out of the party for the truth. And that's bigger, a bigger problem, is that it's too bad that people didn't cross the floor and support what they know to be true. We all know to be, it to be true, and now we've just swept it under the carpet like we always do. And that's very frustrating. Well, it's a little disappointing on some of them, but, you know, Mark Twain said it best, you know, you go into politics to do good and you stay to do well. <laughs> <laughs> and one last question. Justin Trudeau likes to market himself as a feminist prime minister, but it seems by an increasing number of accounts, he has a very hard time dealing with strong or opinionated women. Why do you think that is? <laughs> That's a no-go zone. No, thank you. I've been happily married for 50 years. I'm not going to touch that one. Okay. <laughs> well, I can't really comment on that. I don't know, you know, what he may or may not be thinking. I just know that we do have a, a strong female representative in our riding through Jane Felpott, and I'm hoping that uh, she'll be re-elected again. I have problems people uh, branding themselves. Um, it's, it's better that you do the work and through your work, you're branded, rather than you go and brand yourself and then try and do the work. I don't have any comment on that. I, I really don't recognize that. In, in the, you know, I don't read the politics every day, but I just have my own opinions about things. <laughs> I don't know about that. I guess you'd have to ask Justin, but I'm, for one, very happy to have strong women like Jane uh, representing uh, women, and I don't know if you have anything else to add. No, I'd agree with that pretty much, yeah. Are, are you happy with the way uh, the Prime Minister has dealt with uh, women such as Jane Philpott and Jody Wilson-Raybould? Um, I think a lot goes behind the scenes that we don't know about, yes. uh, but I definitely appreciate Jane's personal integrity, and I think that we're in a time when Canadians are looking for that kind of thing. To be honest, I don't really know him, so I'm not really sure that's something that I can completely comment on. However, I think that he showed a lot of, um, not courage, but I think that by appointing women as ministers and, and showing kind of the country how much he really appreciates women how much they he thinks that they should be in those types of positions I think that that was super rewarding for him but also the fact that you know he's the head of the Liberal Party and I think that they are also very um, sort of forward moving especially in society so I think that that's a trait that he needs to have if he's going to be reelected could it be he's a fake feminist uh, I don't really think that if you are a fake feminist, that you should be promoting yourself as a feminist. I think that if you're a feminist, it's going to show out eventually if you are or not. I, I think that in the past, uh, that's, a, that's a tough question. I think that Justin Trudeau doesn't know what to do with true leadership, and he is not a true example of a true leader. We have a true leader inside this room and representing Richard Stouffville, so we're happy to support her. Well, as always, time will tell if Miss Philpot has what it takes to hold on to this writing. But as far as the people attending her fundraiser here tonight, they all believed what she did was based on principle and that she should be rewarded for taking such a principled stance. We'll see. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and never miss another Rebel video.